Hello everyone, and welcome back for part two, or technically, I guess part one, because part zero was on unlocking it, but whatever. Part one slash two of The Dancer. Gamboiling for Gil. Gamboy, gamboiling? Gamboiling? You know, the word gambling. Oh, it's a good start. Neshmira eyes with an enthusiastic expression. Does she now? I have trained many a dancer in my day, but I cannot recall ever having seen the crystal take to one of our new recruits so quickly. Truly, there is prodigious talent within you, just waiting to be untapped. I've never seen anything like it either. Why, at this rate, he might even be able to challenge me for the position a troop foul seems rising star. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Rana. But yes, with Alexander in our ranks, our ultimate goal might at long last be within reach. But... Is there a but? Before that, however, I should share with you the full details of our planned itinerary. As I may have mentioned, we have travelled to these shores with two purposes. To share our time on an ark with, the, with Eorzeans far and wide, and in doing so, to do our part to help heal any lingering scars left by the Calamity. Limsa Liminza here was the first stop on our tour of the realm. This leaves us with four destinations, Uldar, Gridania, Ishgard, and finally Alamigo. And yet, Ishgard is dealing with the repercussions of the Dragonsong War, and Alamigo has but recently been liberated from their Galian masters. I believe it would be best to put off our performances in those nations until such a time as we can be sure our presence will be welcome. Well, that's interesting. Do you need to have beaten Stormblood to get to this? Or is that a difference because I'm further in the story? Because there is bits like that. But that clearly mentions that Alamigo has been liberated, but this is a level 60 quest, meaning that you could unlock it technically before even touching Stormblood. Anyway. And so, by process of elimination, the next two destinations in our tour are but all but decided. There is another important matter we must attend to before we set off, or oh, however there is. Finding ourselves a patron willing to sponsor our jaunt across the realm, yes? Precisely. With what little coin remains in our coffer, coffers after the long journey, we can scarce afford to put on humble productions like the one Alexander just wish, 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 witnessed. We must find someone who will spare no expense in helping us bring our art to every corner of Eorzea. Fortunately, I have learned of someone who might be suited for that role. An acquaintance of mine in these lands, a songstress no less, introduced me to an influential merchant ugh, who considers his life, his, okay that's maybe less bad, his life's work to promote daring new forms of creative expression the realm over. The man in question has all but agreed to fund our tour, on one condition. We must grace him with a private performance, and he must deem it to be true artist a true artistic revolution, unlike anything he's seen before. An artistic revolution? That sounds like an awfully tall order. Indeed it is. After all, the aesthetic. Wait, as aesthete? I don't think I've come across that word before. An aesthete of such renown has surely seen a Near Eastern dancer too in his day. So I asked myself, 
what could we possibly show this man that would truly awe and inspire him? Long did I struggle to come up with the answer, but no longer. Alexander, you will take the stage with Vrana and transform into a full-fledged dancer before the man's very eyes. Yes, I call it a flower blooms on the battlefield. Love can bloom on the battlefield. So I guess a flower can too. Also, it's raining. Yes, yes, it is all coming to me now. For the final act, Rana here will play the role of a formidable foe, unleashing a fearsome array of steps and twirls against you. You'll fend them off, retaliating with flourishes of your own in a dramatic battle for the ages. Alexander and I are taking the stage together. Oh, my tail is tingling with excitement just thinking about it. And through our battle, we'll show our would-be patron that our art is more than just for show. Why, it's positively perfect. <laughs> I know it's your first performance, but you needn't worry. Nashmira and I will be right there with you. Just follow our lead. Let the music carry you. And I'm sure our performance will knock this bigwig merchant off socks off. Sure. Rana speaks true. I would have, would not have invited you into our ranks if I did not believe, if I did not know, you are capable of what I ask. And so, let us not delay any further. Our audience awaits us in a place called, ah yes, oh god, Costa del Sol. It's Master Greg! Yeah! Right, huh. Well, it can't be Rowena because it's a male. Oh, it could be one of the masters of old Dar, Costa del Sol. God damn it, it's Greg! Uh, Gregoru. I, I don't actually know how you pronounce his name, so I've always called him Master Greg. Uh, I could be wrong. Brum brum. Do, do, do. The success of our Aeosian tour, and perhaps the very future of our troop as a whole, depends on what this fellow thinks of us. You bet I'm dressed for the occasion. That'll definitely help, trust me. Excellent! My two rising stars are here, and we can finally get the show on the road. But first, we should pay our respects to our patron to be. Uh, Master Gregoruju, come with me. It's Master Greg. Master Greg, it is a pleasure and an honor to be invited to your your lovely estate. I am Nashmi Nashmira, leader and principal dancer of Troop Valsame. And I stand before you today with two of my most promising protégés. Yes, yes, welcome and all. Thou take me. Is that you, Titan's Bane? Moonlighting as a dancer these days, are you? I must admit. I thought adventuring was more lucrative than that. Mind you, when you're as wealthy as me, the best is a given. No, I won't be content with merely masterful performance. I want to see something daring, something profound, something the likes of which this realm has never seen. I trust you're up to the task. We would let your eyes be the judge of that, Mr. Greg. For today, Costa del Sol will be the venue for the inaugural performance of Troop Falsame's newest production. I call it A Flower Blooms on the Battlefield. Honor Khan! Do, do, do. Ah, I hear the noise. There we go. 
Fear not, Alexander. I will guide you every step of the way. Cast your worries from your heart. Let your body be as one with the music, and all will be well. Alright, let us do this. Your very first performance, and already you're taking center stage. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Your opponent will be a training mannequin designed specifically to hone an inspiring dancer skills. Breathe deeply, move with purpose, and it'll be a breeze. At the same time, always remember that the Krieg stance is a dance of war. I know you're among friends here, but I want you to imagine yourself on the battlefield, leaping and twirling through a legion of foes. Now, let's knock this master Greg out of his hundred thousand gill stockings. Are you ready? Ah, uh, item sink. Uh, yeah, gambling for gill. That's it. That fire in your eyes. This is the chance of a lifetime. So let the same passion burn in your heart. And hold nothing back. Let the curtain rise. Alright, let's do this. Also, I've actually set the action skills properly this time. Unlike Gunbreaker. You still lack for experience, this I know, but take heart, for I have crafted this performance specifically to draw out your innate talent. Step by precious step, follow my lead and you will feel yourself transforming into a full-fledged dancer before you even know it. Lose yourself in the music, let the passion in your heart take over, and you will move as you have never moved before. Yes. You are the flower in this battlefield, and today you will blossom. Are you ready, Alexander? First, you want to execute what we call a closed position and choose me as your partner. Once you've chosen a partner, you'll be able to invigorate them through your dancing. Are you ready? Trust me, follow my lead and Greg will be all but patty in our hands. Oh, I just noticed the mammoths. Come now. Execute a closed position. Choose me as your partner, and let's put on a sh and let's put on a show. What's taking so long? I can't see a show. Not whatever this nonsense is. Splendid. Now let's show Greg what you can do. Our apologies for the delay, Master Greg. Without further ado, behold as the flower blooms on the battlefield. Finally, it's time for the show. This had best be all I've heard it be, lest you're not getting a single coin of our guild. Phew, no pressure, eh? All right, Alexander, let's begin with the basics. Commence your dance, make two standard steps, and then top it off with a standard finish. Don't rush yourself, Alexander. Every step must be executed with purpose. This is the famous trip Valsane. It all seems so terribly ordinary. I don't know why I'm enjoying feeling this kind of. Commence your dance, make two standard steps, and then top it off with a standard finish. Alright Greg, I'll do it properly this time. Oho! So this is the famed Troop Valsane. Perhaps your reputation was well deserved after all. That's it. Can you feel the power welling up from within you? Now it's my turn. Can you feel the strength surging within you? Just like this, you and your partner inspire and feed off one another to bring out the best in both of you. But we're just getting warmed up, aren't we? Greg wants to see more, so go ahead and show him what you've got. Simply astounding! I never knew that Eastern Dance was so... 
Alluring. Not bad, not bad at all. But you must show me more. More, I say. It would seem Master Greg has warmed up to you. Next, show him what you can do with this mannequin here. Behold, Master Greg, my protege will now put on a show with this dancing doll. Watch as he fends off its mighty magics. Oh, -ho! nothing like a good battle to get the blood pumping. Oh, the music's back. From here, you must dance to your own rhythm. Use your weapons to your advantage as well, and fell your foe. <laughs> Elegant and deadly. Yes, I do believe I approve. Do not forget your standard steps. Dance your dance. And not only will you strike your foe, but invigorate yourself and your companions in the process. Now that's what I call dancing. What's next? The show will go on, yes? All right, Alexander. We have Mr. Greg right where we want him. It's time for you and Rana to take the stage together. I trust you are enjoying the show. And now we present the grand finale. Behold, as my two dancers clash in a display of dangerous beauty. A duly two dancers, you say? Now that's what I came to see. Come, my lovelies, and sweep me off my feet. Are you ready, Alexander? For the final act, we'll be performing together. Watch me closely and try to keep up, okay? Can you keep up with me now? Ha! Huh, neither you nor Master Greg can resist my charms. I am as the flames, flickering in the darkness. Two dancers moving in perfect harmony. I've never seen such a sight. I want to see more. His, his voice keeps changing. For goodness sake. Your movements grow quicker, even as I watch. But I've only begun to fight. Such beauty, such grace. I can't take my eyes off them. Well, well, it looks like someone's feeling comfortable out there. But your rival still has a couple of tricks up her sleeves. Yeah, <laughs> my eyes are blinded by the sheer beauty. I am as a whirlwind, ripping through the skies. Watch me now. This is how you finish in style. I am as the raging waves crashing against the shore. <laughs> my eyes are blinded by the sheer beauty and my voice keeps changing over and over I am as a whirlwind ribbon through the skies inconceivable I have never seen anything like them Yeah. 
See, that went much better when I actually knew what I was doing. Although it was quite funny to mess it up at the start and him be like, Wait, you're not that good. Are you sure? That was your first time up on the stage? I could swear I was watching a veteran up there. I couldn't take my eyes off you for a moment. But hey, my moves were nothing to sneeze at either, right? Of course, all the flashy lights were just for show. I set them up beforehand, just to liven up my performance, you know? But enough about me. This was your day to shine. If that meant me playing the villain for a day, so be it. I'm just proud to have played my part in helping your talents bloom. <laughs> now that was a sight to behold. A bold young man, taking on one fearsome foe after the next, and transforming into a masterful dancer before my very eyes. Yes, I do believe I have not seen anything quite like it. Your words do us a great honour, Master Greg. Might we also count on you to loosen your purse strings and sponsor Troop Falsane on our tour across the f this f or your far realm? Hmm. It is true, of course, that your troop deserves a far wider audience, and yet your performance moved me so that I couldn't bear to part with you so soon. I must say. I found myself particularly smitten with the young kitten who played the villain's role. Uh, Rana, was it? Perhaps I could interest you in signing a contract to be one of my personal dancers. I can promise that you, you will be a... Wait, I could promise that it would be a lucrative one. Uh, wh why are you flying me, Mr. Greg? But I fear I'm still in training. I can't very well leave this... Neshmira aside until our tour is complete. Yes, that's so now. No, no, that simply won't do. Why, I'm afraid your rejection has so devastated me that I simply don't have it in me to fund your little excursion after all. You can't be serious. You gave us your word. He won't take no for an answer. Whatever should we do, Alexander? Oh, look, it's the new tax boxes. You are altering the deal. We can do this the easy way, or... <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Stop looking at me like that. You're scaring me. I, I jest, I jest, I say. I, I never took you dancers to be such a bloody serious lot. I meant only to express how utterly enthralled I was by your fearless performance. Yes, that's it. You have provided me with precisely the sort of bold and audacious aut autistic? Artistic? Revolution I sought. As per our deal, I am more than happy to offer you the financial backing you so clearly deserve. You're most grateful, Master Greg. Truly, your aesthetic sensibilities are matched only by your boundless generosity. By your leave, we shall begin preparing for our forthcoming performance in Ulda. Wait, I say. I mean, if I might just take, just make, just one small request. I ask not that you sign an exclusive contract, only that one of you sojourn here as my honoured guest and entertain me for a spell. In return, in addition to my patronage, I promise that I will deliver you a personal letter of recommendation to the Syndicate on your behalf. That's not bad. Well, I do believe that sounds like a mutually beneficial arrangement. In that case, Master Greg, you may have the pick of any of my troop. Excepting Alexander, of course. I mean, he was not going to pick me. Then the deal is done. Yes. I would be more 
more than content with the lovely Miss Rana here. Just leave the negotiations with the Syndicate to me. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing every move in your repertoire. The plaster, plas the plaster, the pleasure is mine, Mr. Greg. And please introduce me to your personal dancing girls as well. I'm sure there is much they could teach me in the art of dancing Eorzea. Whew, I was worried there for a minute, but all's well that ends well. I'll go and share the good news with the others. Pray come along if you'd like. Dirty little lalafell and pervert. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, friend. That was a first performance for the ages. Nashmira's eyes for eye for talent has never led us astray. But I had no idea you'd realize your potential so quickly. Bravo, I say bravo. When Master Greg started insisting on taking Rana from us, I thought all our efforts were for naught. But it seems you've come away with everything we bargained for, and then some. And it's all thanks to you. I'm guessing that was way not you, but whatever. It really was quite remarkable how he changed his tune after you gave him just a single glance. Clearly, you possess remarkable powers of persuasion. At any rate, I suppose a short sojourn here could benefit us all. Rana seems eager to get to know the dancers here, and I must attend to administrative tasks before our next performance. In the meantime, uh, why don't you put your newfound skills to the test? I suspect you'll be quite pleased with how well they serve you. And with that... Is it gambling? I thought... I thought there wasn't an Owen gambling for Gil. Or is that a word that I'm not familiar with? Whatever, gambling for Gil. Ba ba ba. Alright, so a soiree in the Sultanate is up next time. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Didn't mean to do that. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for Dancing in Old Art. Bye bye!